to a new video of what I eat in a day however if you saw my last video you will know that I have not been feeling very well at the moment and you might even be able to tell it still by my voice now but I am on the mend so I thought I would share this video with you of what I eat in a day when I'm trying to get better and actually by the end of this particular day I felt the brightest I have for over a week so if this helps you if you feel under the weather this winter then that makes me happy so as you can see, I'm starting my day with my herbal tea, which to be honest, I drink when I'm not under the weather as well. It has aloe vera juice that I'm adding now um, and it's really good for you. So it starts me off on a good note. I have also been taking my days a lot slower. As you can see, it's light outside. I have just allowed my body to wake up when I naturally wake up and just taking it easy. Once I finish my herbal tea, I go in and make my breakfast, which again all the time anyway is usually a smoothie um, and this morning is no different but this is a slightly different one I've tried um, it is a Herbalife nutrition um, protein that I'm using I had two scoops of the vanilla protein and then two scoops of the protein drink mix which is a vegan um, and then I am adding a load of tropical fruit and as many fruit and veggies as I possibly can. Um, I also add a spinach to this smoothie which just gets my greens in there and honestly trust me you do not taste it. So this particular smoothie mix I bought from M&S and as you can see it's got pineapple, mango, coconut and passion fruit in it and it absolutely tastes delicious. I can highly recommend it. Another thing I've found since I've had this cold and cough is that solid food seems to make me cough more. So liquid like smoothies and things like that are really quite soothing for my throat and don't aggravate my cough. So I'm enjoying my smoothies even more at the moment. So yeah, definitely a go-to for me and I will carry on drinking this beyond when I have got rid of this damn cold and cough. So the joys of now being self-employed is that, that I don't have to worry about work too much and I can do it from the comfort of my sofa on my phone. After I've had puppy cuddles, of course, Arnie, I think he knows that I am not feeling very well because he has been extra cuddly and oh, he's just the cutest. I don't know what I'd do without him. So for my lunch, this is different. I wouldn't usually have this for my lunch, but I'm making myself carrot, ginger, and apple juice. Now I have had this before, and there's so many health benefits with ginger. Um, it contains loads of antioxidants, and it really helps fight off any diseases, basically. Now I'm not saying I've got a disease, but it is so good for the body, and yeah, you can't go wrong. And at the moment, I am drinking as much ginger as I possibly can because I even have a ginger shot later, as you'll see. Now my juicer, I've had for quite some time. I've had it for quite a few years. And again, as you can see, it's so simple to use. I don't have to cut up any of the fruit and veg. I just shove it all in there and the juice comes right out. It's really quick and easy to clean and it produces the smoothest, nicest juice. If I can find it on a website, I will link my juicer in the description box down below. But basically what I'm using in this juice, I use two apples, um, I used a whole bag of carrots. I would never usually get that many carrots in my system in one go. And a big chunk of ginger. And this is the end product. Now, look how vibrant and bright that is. That has got to be good for you and it actually tastes really nice as well, even with the big chunk of ginger that I put in there. I'm not just having this on its own, I baked a banana bread at the weekend, so I'm cutting off myself a slice of this as well. This is a vegan banana bread and I got the recipe from Deliciously Ella, I have her cookbook, and if I can find it online, I will also link that in the description box down below because it is yummy. And Arnie's never too far behind when there's food around. It was 
mid-afternoon by this point and this ginger kick shot that um, you see here obviously I didn't make it myself I saw these in Sainsbury's and they I think were originally five pounds for three which is very expensive but they had two pound off so they were three pound for three of these shots so I bought them and actually although the first taste made me shudder as you'll see <laughs> it wasn't that bad after the first sip And again, there was lots of really good ingredients for you in this. So spicy turmeric, ginger, apple, carrot, and vitamin D, which then we're not getting much of this week, let's face it. The skies are pretty grey as I'm looking out the window right now. So dinner is another great opportunity to get lots of veggies into my system. So I'm making homemade soup. It is a pea and spinach soup, so I'm adding chopped onions, lazy garlic, load of garden peas um, and a whole bag of spinach I've added to this and some vegetable stock. Literally just let it simmer for 10 minutes and then zhuzh it up in the food processor. It's super quick, super easy, but you are literally getting so many veggies and greens into your body. So this is gonna make me better, I know it is. And this, to be honest, is a favorite of mine even when I'm not feeling unwell. So the portion that I'm making here does serve two, but what's great obviously with Carla Way is that this will do me for my dinner tonight and it will do me for my dinner tomorrow as well. So I've got two meals already prepared, they're good to go. So I don't have to cook tomorrow night, which is a bonus. I cannot have a soup though without a bread roll. So I've just got this seeded one that I think I picked up from M&S as well. And I have this dairy-free butter on it. I always use this butter. You wouldn't taste the difference. I love it. As you know by now, I have to have a sweet treat after my dinner. So this evening I'm having two satsumas for the vitamin C and Belgian chocolate and hazelnut flavor little moons that I recently found in my local Sainsbury's. Not for health, just because I fancied a bit of chocolate to be honest. <laughs> And I'm finishing the evening off with a cuddles with Arnie on the sofa, the best way to end the day and my favourite part of the day to be honest. So that is going to go ahead and conclude my what I eat in a day video when I'm sick. If you are suffering with a cold and a cough at the moment because I know this is going around then I hope you feel better soon. I hope you found this video useful and you can take some ideas from it if you do end up getting a bit under the weather during the winter period um, if you found it useful please give it a thumbs up it really helps my channel out and I really appreciate it subscribe if you haven't already I promise I'm usually more upbeat than this and I will come back with a vengeance when my bug has gone um, but I hope you all have a happy and healthy week and I look forward to seeing you in my next video bye, bye.